Hi everybody, it's Ricky from Connerty Meadows Farm. Today I need a new soap mold, so I thought I would walk you through the process of making your own soap mold. I mean, you can use anything from a Pringles can to a cardboard box lined with uh, paper um, to a milk jug. But um, since I live on a farm, we always have scraps of wood around and I like my wood molds. So I thought you would like to learn how to make your own wood molds. So there are a few things that you may need to purchase. Okay, so for tools that you will need, a screwdriver or a drill, um, you'll need some screws, you'll need two hinges and the screws that go with them, and then the locking mechanism and the end pieces. The end product, this is my wooden soap mold. So the end product, um, you slide these open and it's, this flaps down. And of course, this is lined with freezer paper. So I am going to show you how to measure so that you can make your own mold. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is measure the mold to find out what size of wood I need to find in my wood scrap pile. Um, so I have two different measurements. So this one is 16 by three and a quarter. So I need to make sure when I go looking for wood, I need to find some longer than that because you still have to account for the thickness of your outside pieces. Okay, so I found a piece of bit wood big enough to be my base and I have measured out what my inside needs to be. So three and a quarter by 16 across. Now the next step is to find pieces of wood to go on the, on all the sides. And don't forget this piece here is going to be the piece that's going to drop down like our front one over here. Okay, so I've found all my scrap pieces of wood and I've cut them all to size. So I will show you how it goes together. I have not cut the base piece yet because I'm gonna just show you how I put all the pieces together like a mini little jigsaw. So we have our end pieces and our other end piece, these ones go in between hold on a second um i'll come back in one second sorry i couldn't uh hold with one end and set up with the other so essentially here's our end pieces our middle piece our other end piece and this will be the piece that is going to go on the the hinges this piece here um, as you can see they will all fit together so now the last thing i have to do is trace the outside here um, and then, which I've already done just to show you, and then I'm going to take this to the saw and I'm going to cut this line, not this line. This is the inside of the soap mold, the outside line here. This is the one that I want to cut all the way around because this is the base. If you were to cut this one, you would be cutting the inside of the soap mold. Okay. Alright, so I cut the base to fit <clears throat> and now it's just a simple matter of screwing all the pieces together. Uh, one screw is going to go in the top here and in the top over here. I'm going to flip it over and I'll do screws on the bottom and I'll show you where they all go. Okay, so um, as I put the first screw in, I realized that the wood started to crack because it's cedar. So I had to switch to hammer and nails. Not a big deal, either works. So two nails here, which is holding your side piece in place. And then one, two, three, four nails, which is holding your side 
and another two which is holding that side <clears throat> you're gonna put one on the back which is gonna hold your back piece in place and same with this side this side just have wedged in there this one is going to be the one that um, goes up and down for your uh, hinges and we'll come back and I'll show you how to do your hinges on there okay so we're on the hinge side um, so the first thing we're going to need to do is figure out where we want our hinges to go. Got one hinge there. Put a hinge yeah, right about there. Remember, this doesn't have to be perfect. That's the beauty of making things yourself. It just has to do the job, and the job is to hold soap in place. So I'm just going to set this up. And I'll show you what it all will look like when we're done. And uh, then you can kind of see how you would like to set yours up. Okay, so all I have to do now is put all the appropriate screws in place. Um, I know I said last time the cedar started breaking because I was using big screws. The screws that you're using for this, they're very, very tiny. So even if you're using cedar, um, they should not, uh, should not um, cause it to do too much damage. And there you have it. One soap mold ready for use. It's a little stiff right now, but there we go. Now, um, you can make a top for it. I'm not going to show you how in this video but it's fairly simple. I'll show you what I've done. Um, this is the top. It's just a piece of plywood with ends on it. I hammered nails in the side and all it does is fit over the top. So it hangs over the edge here and it hangs over the edge here. So, See, top. And, uh, so for insulating that way, um, if you've got pointed tops or fancy tops or anything like that, you're wrapping in a towel, you don't want um, anything getting in your uh, soap, there's its lid.